Now we're going to do a quick tutorial on how you can actually mount the Shadow Flux panel with our RV tilt mount. So here we have our 200 watt Shadow Flux panel. Put them onto the panel like so. Each set is going to come with your bolt, two washers, lock nut, and your nut. Nut, washer, come underneath, washer on top, lock nut, and your nut. Finger tighten, and then you're gonna make sure you tighten it down with a wrench. Great, so here we have the first set of the brackets adhered to the panel. Now we're gonna go ahead and get this next set, which these are already gonna be mounted onto your roof. We don't have the roof here, so we're just gonna pretend that it is mounted. So you're gonna go ahead, put one over here, put one over here, and we're gonna get this all set up. So there'll be one support bracket on this side, other support bracket on this side, and each side is gonna have three of these. Three over here, three over here. So let's go ahead and get these ready. Same thing, this is gonna have one bolt, you're gonna have your wing nut, you're gonna have a washer, and a lock nut. So this guy is gonna go just like this. We're gonna do it on the front. And we're gonna go ahead and stick this in through like this. You're gonna get your washer. You're gonna get your lock nut. You're gonna get your wing nut. And this one is nice because you can actually tighten it with your hand. You're gonna hold one side with one hand and then the other side, you could go ahead and crank it down. Just like that. So now you have both of these attached and you can kind of see the tilting motion right here. And depending on how much you want to tilt it, this is where we're going to use our support brackets. So let's go ahead and get these ready as well. And we will go ahead and adhere this one on the back over here just so we can have a good angle. Somewhere around 30 to 35 degrees is usually recommended. I'm going to get a bolt in here. We're going to get our washer, lock nut, and then wing nut. Sets like that, you can go ahead and hand tighten. And it's starting to look like a tilt mount. So we're going to go ahead and do the same thing on this bottom one right here. We get our washer, lock nut, wing nut, attach, and then we go ahead and hand tighten. There we have one side done. Not too bad, right? Now we're gonna go ahead and do the second side. And we wanna make sure that we're matching the same holes that we did on the first side, so both sides are even. So we're gonna go like this. We had it on this top one right here. So we did it on the third hole in on that side, so we're gonna go ahead and follow that on this side. And there you have it. Just like that, we just installed the RV tilt mount to our shadow flux panel in a couple minutes. It really didn't take too long. So now we're done. Let me go ahead and flip it over. I'm gonna get one of my colleagues to help me and we're gonna show you exactly how it looks. And there you have it. We have our shadow flux panel all mounted, ready to be used. Okay, great. Now we have the panel nice and mounted. We really need to figure out how to run the wires through our surface. That's where this accessory comes in handy. This is our new waterproof cable entry housing. It's perfect for this shuttle flux panel and any of our other panels that you need to run wires through a surface. 